Hello, I'm B.B. Rosso, and I'd like to welcome you to the inaugural episode of Painting with B.B. Rosso. I am just so gosh darn excited to be painting with y'all today, and I hope that you have a mutual feeling as well. To start off, we're going to throw a graphic at the bottom of the screen for all the different colors that I'll be using today. Now, to start us off, as any good painter knows and any good painter will do, we got to start off with a base. On my canvas, which is an 18 by 24, we're going to take this white right here, dip it in just a, just a little bit in there, and we're going to paint a base. Why are we doing this? Because painters do it, and I'm going to do it. So, here we go. Now, you want a nice, even stroke, right? Going down the entire thing. Now, if you have this coat on here, it actually makes the other paint pop out even more than they already did. Oh, you just love that sound. I know I do too. And I think we've got it all cleared up now. Next, we're gonna take our brush, put it into the water so we get it off. Dry it off, of course. Oh, don't you just love the beating of the brush? Oh, if you have a struggling day or having a struggling life, you just come home and beat the brush and all the stress is out. Next, we're going to take this nice green, sort of dip it in a little bit of white, but we've also got the white base to add, and we're just going to put some nice little bushes at the bottom here. Once you've done that, you'll have a nice landscape already forming. I can already see the beauty, and much to my surprise, I thought I saw the beauty in my good wife, Lisa, but it doesn't matter. We're painting today. Next, we're going to, you know, do the standard where we put it in and dry it off with a nice little bead. Next, we're going to want to create a little pathway for our nice little people that'll be coming in. So I'm going to take this nice crimson -y color and take the very small brush and create a little path for them. Perfect. We're going to put it back into the water. Oh, it feels so good. Except when I figured out that my wife Lisa was cheating. But don't worry, we're back to the painting. Next, we're gonna get this humongous brush, get it nice and wet, dry it off. And next, we're gonna create a nice little sun. Now, this is a totally original idea that I'm gonna put in this show for everybody today because, well, as you know, I am very creative. So, I'm gonna put a nice sun up in the corner and this will be the first time that anybody has ever done a sun like this. Magnificent. Next, you're probably gonna wanna add some trees. Now, how do you do that if we're not using any brown today? Crimson. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put some nice trees. You really wanna add the force perspective to it. So we're gonna put it on top of the bushes. There's a little tree trunk and you're gonna wanna do maybe maybe four there yeah, and make sure they're they're not too big we want the nice happy little trees we always do oh i seem to have made a mistake oh, sorry there are no mistakes just happy little accidents much like my daughter i actually used the same color for the path as the tree but that's just symbolic isn't it put it back in get it nice and dry and now we're gonna use the green again, but this time we're gonna use a nice darker color green to really contrast with the bushes. We're gonna take this, get it here, dip it in the black just a little bit, just a tad, just a wee bit. And we're gonna create trees. Well, if that doesn't scream a hallelujah trees, then I don't know what will. Wow, it's already looking like a beauty. Next, we're gonna wanna add a river. Oh, we all love the river, sort of. And I am gonna have a special flavor on mine. You see, I'm gonna paint my river as a blood river. And don't ask me who blood it is, it's the mailman's. I'm gonna take this nice, beautiful red, dip it in the black, just a tad, just a tad. And we're gonna create a nice little river going forward and beyond.
magnificent. Now, as every artist does, you always want to have your little touch added to every painting. So at this point, you can do whatever you want with it, but I am going to add my secret favorite flavor. I'm going to take the black with this small, small brush, dip it in quite a lot, quite a lot indeed, and I'm going to put it right in the middle of this river. And you know what that represents? It's very symbolic, very metaphorical. It's the bottom of the river. It's a hole. That's where I threw the mailman, that stupid cheating man. Oh, he was supposed to bring the mail for us, but then he took the wife. It just makes the painting personal and truly yours. You don't have to add that. In fact, I encourage you don't because you don't know the half of it. Lastly, we're gonna add a sprinkle, just a sprinkle of, oh well, who knows? One of the beauties of painting is the improvisation. So we're just gonna point to a random color, yellow. We're gonna point to a random brush the big brush and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna create a happy little person over here a yellow one because the yellow of the sun so here we go he's gonna be standing by the river and then we need the black And then, to make it even, even personal, I'm gonna take me over here. All right, get the black back in here. This is me, and as you can see, I am not looking too happy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cheer me up with some happy green things coming out, and then we're gonna take a white and just amplify the magnificent base that we've already added, and... Oh, a little bit of a drip, but as we say here, just happy little accidents. Oh, oh, would you look at the time? It turns that we have run out of time. That is quite unfortunate as we were just getting started. But as we do with all of our shows from this point forward, you'll always want to sign your name to make sure everybody knows it's your painting. Nothing too extreme like the artists do in the corner, but this is how it will work. And there you have it. Thank you all for joining me. God bless you all, and I will see you next week. I'm B.B. Rosa.